Hey everyone, it's Michael from Overland Bound and I've had quite a few requests to go into further detail about some of the hardware that I have on the Overland Bound rig. So today we're going to take a, an in-depth look at the Gobi Rack. I want this to be a very thorough review. This is Gobi Rack specific, but it's going to play into any decision that you have to make for your rig. First and foremost, how are you going to use it? If you're just throwing a couple of surfboards up there, you can probably get away with load bars and you don't even need a rack. But if you're going to go on a long-term expedition, if you're going to be gone for weeks and months, you're going to want a rack that has a significant load carrying capacity for a couple of reasons. One, you're going to be throwing all of your life's belongings on that rack and that might be quite a bit. This isn't a backpacking trip, this is an overland uh, expedition. So you're going to have quite a bit of stuff with you. Also, you want to be able to walk up there. That was one of my primary considerations. I want to be able to jump up and either strap things down or grab what I need and pull it off. And I don't want to have to worry about whether my rack is going to break. Another thing, are you going to be using a rooftop tent? That's a very important consideration because some racks just won't work with, uh, with a rooftop tent. So you have to make sure yours is going to work for that. Also, in the market, you're going to see some modular designs where companies allow you to build your own rack, I really don't recommend that because the trade-off there is durability and uh, the quality of construction. Eventually that's going to shimmy loose and you're going to get squeaks and rattles and eventually it may just fall apart. So I don't recommend any kind of a modular system. You want a solid one-piece design. And another thing to stay away from, contoured racks. It seems silly, but there are some racks out there that are contoured. They follow the roof line of your rig. Think about putting a case on a contoured roof rack. Is it going to sit flat? Probably not. Stay away from any contoured design. You want it to be flat. Another important consideration is the roof rack sidewalls. You'll see some low profile designs there. Um, I chose the Safari full height rack because it gives me a little bit more space to work with. It's a little bit more secure side to side. It gives you a little bit of structural rigidity. So I went with the higher sidewalls. It's just my personal preference. Some racks have mounting points for your spotlights and some don't. You can make your own mounting points, but it sure is convenient if the roof rack comes with it. Sometimes a consideration that is overlooked. Give customer support a call before you order your rack because you want to see how flexible and how responsive the company is going to be to your requests. In the case of Gobi, they were very flexible. I have my own logo, so I asked if they would send the Air Dam without their Gobi logo. They said, sure, no problem. They also asked which accessories that I wanted for the rack. They gave me one for free. I chose between the latter or the shovel and axe mount and I got the shovel and axe mount. They were very responsive and they answered all of my questions. Also, give yourself time when you order your rack. Usually these companies don't produce racks in high volume and it may take a little bit of time before you get your rack. What do I mean by a little bit of time? In my case it was two and a half months. So order it in plenty of advance of any kind of trip where you want to use it because it will just take time. Okay, that's pretty much it for the review. Let's actually look at this rack. All right, now we're going to look into a little bit more detail. You can see that this roof rack has an air dam. That's important for a couple of things. One, it reduces your wind resistance. So fuel economy is a consideration. It sends that airflow up over the top of your cases. The other thing is it reduces the amount of noise that you hear inside the rig. Many of the roof racks create quite a bit of noise and that air dam will reduce the amount of noise. You can see that it comes with a little rubber bumper that runs across the top of your roof to give it some cushion to protect it, but also to keep the wind from going through there. And it comes with stainless steel hardware and mounting brackets that's just screwed on the top next to the spotlight mounts. These are Hella Rally 4000 spotlights. Now, Here's the truth of the matter. The, this piece of hardware is actually just a little bit too high for this roof rack. These spotlights 
aim a bit too high with this rack. So what I'm going to do eventually is take this into a tube bending metal fabrication shop and put some bends in here so that I can aim the spotlights a little bit better. The spotlights work fine, but I wish I could point them down just a little bit. Other than that, these spotlight mounts are perfect and they'd be great for an LED or a smaller spotlight, but I like these big floods. Okay, the next thing we're going to look at is the roof cutaway. This supports about 200 pounds, which is sufficient. You're not going to load it more than that, probably. And these screw-on caps allow you to completely remove this section. So if you want to, you can pop your head through the sunroof and take a look around. That was actually really important to me. I didn't want to totally obscure the sunroof because I use it and oftentimes I will lift this up and move it back and have a completely free opening. I really like that about the Gobi. The other thing you're going to notice is that there are a lot of places for you to tie and strap on uh, your various um, hardware and everything is flat so you can walk up here no problem. The hardware here clamps on to your drip rail. That's how it mounts and it might seem a little bit flimsy but it's really not. This is anchored on very very well. Once these are all screwed on there is no movement whatsoever. It's really really anchored on well. Okay, now let's get up on top of the roof rack and take a look from above. All right, before I crawl up there, we're going to take a look at the Gobi from this angle. You can see the whole roof rack here. I want to point out a couple of things. It's got some cutouts at the back and some mounts for backup lights. I haven't mounted those yet, but it's got the space for it, so that's real nice. And again, it's got that wire that runs through the body of the rack, so you don't have wires hanging around. You've got three main sections. You've got the section above the roof or above the sunroof. You've got the middle section, which is the largest section, and then you've got a section in the back. And my cases fit on this roof rack just perfectly. This is a perfect size uh, for one case and then two cases go in the middle section. Again, I happen to use the Plano cases that fit perfectly in that section. Take a closer look here. It says right here, use rubber soled footwear when climbing and traversing ladder and rack to minimize wear. It's probably some pretty good advice. Since I do climb up here, I've also put some uh, non-skid tape on the top for me to stand on when I'm up here. The roof rack itself gives me plenty of traction, but you do want to be very careful when you're walking around up here. You don't want to fall down. Okay, now you can see it does fully support my weight. And this is the axe and shovel mount. This is an accessory that comes with the rack. Uh, you, can, you can purchase these separately or you can choose uh, to have these in, uh, instead of the back ladder. I think they probably still offer a free option. And with the hardware here, you can see that They've got holes so that it makes installation relatively easy and painless. These axe and shovel mounts have a lock so that people aren't going to take your valuable hardware. That's a very good consideration, right? Um, the screw downs for the sunroof section are meant to be used quite often. So they've got these nice handles to grab and it looks like I'm getting a little bit of sun fade there after a few years of use, but basically everything is still in really good shape. You've got another uh, wiring harness here so that if you run wires from your truck on either the passenger side or the driver's side, both work. And in my case, I've drilled a hole for the limb risers, and then this is very taut. 
So what you want to do, I need to clean this up a little bit. You can see I'm getting some rust here, so I need to condition this a little bit better. But you want these top rails and all of these rails to be very heavy duty so that you can do things like this without damaging the structural rigidity. And these, these um, top rails are really quite stout. The quality of the weld is all very nice. I haven't had any flex cracks whatsoever so they do a good job there as well now on this side i actually created my own sand ladder mounts and the way i did that was to screw in the sand ladder panel from the outside along here 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 and here so it's very secure Again, it looks like I'm getting a little bit of rust here, and this is after about three years, so I probably want to get in there and condition it a little bit better. The expanded metal, you can see, is a, a nice density, so you're not going to get too many things falling through the cracks, but the other thing this serves is it serves as a good hook point for any of your load straps. If you've got that metal hook, um, for many of my load straps, I just hook it just like that and I don't really crank down on it because this will bend But it takes quite a bit of force and you can usually get plenty um, Of force on the ratchet to hold things on here without distorting the mesh itself All right, that's it for the Gobi rack review on the overlandbound.com website I will have lots of detailed pictures so that you can see it in, in greater detail Also, if you have any questions, go ahead and drop me a line in the forums I'm glad to answer any questions that you might have. Okay, I will see you next time.